Don't let the box fool you. This is not the original Cheetah. This is the Cheetah 2.0. The only way you would know that from looking at the box is on the back, there's a little sticker that says 2.0. But today, we are gonna take a look at it. And here it is. Now this is one of those blasters I put on order, kind of forgot about it until it showed up. And then I realized, yeah, this thing actually looks like it could be pretty good. So this is a Talon Mag accepting blaster that is breech loaded and fires short darts. Whew, and it hits hard. With no modification whatsoever, this thing's hitting close to 200, if not over 200 FPS, right out of the box. And it came with a scar barrel, which causes this thing to be pinpoint accurate. So in this video, we're gonna show some basic installation guide, because this thing does take a little work to put together. We're gonna talk about its performance, and I'm gonna show some chronograph numbers. I also took this outside, to get a full understanding of how far this thing can shoot. So stick around and see how amazing this blaster is. In the end, do I recommend it? And also, how does it compare to what's currently on the market? So let's jump right into the video. Every once in a while, I'll get a blaster and I'll be outside, you know, getting the chronograph numbers, doing the accuracy and range checks. When I get to a point where I realize I have been playing with this thing for hours, and now I'm like, oh wait, what was I doing? I was filming a video. Oh yeah, let's get back on track. Uh, you know the thing's good. Like, you know it's gonna be a good blaster. So that's what happened with this one. Uh, I spent hours and hours just planking around, essentially just trying to see if I had any issues. and. I couldn't find anything. Like, it really is a great little platform to work with. The thing I'm really happy about this is really the ability to, to offer a product, you know, around the world that many people can get a hold of. Because, you know, when it comes to like the Nexus Pro or the, even the Aeon Pro, some of that stuff is only kind of limited to just people on, you know, North America or whatnot. So, seeing something like this that can be released around the world is really good. And it's pretty reasonably priced for what you're getting. Also, since we're kind of on the topic, let's talk about the performance. This thing spanks an, a Nexus Pro out of the box, or an Aeon Pro, in my opinion. This thing is, uh, it is hitting 185, 190 FPS, and I was using both the provided darts and I was using the Venture Force darts, and they were both really good, actually. So, very happy to see the performance of this. And just because it's high FPS doesn't mean it's accurate. So I wanted to do some tests and I took this over and did some 30 foot cup shots. And there was, I don't know if I had all the footage because I, like I said, I was playing with it for, for quite a while. But there were a time where I had a lineup of, uh, I had a whole line of cups and I got about six, I got about five cups consecutive hits at 30 feet. It's just boom, 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 boom. So yeah, it's pinpoint accurate at 30 feet. So I figured to step it up a, get a bit. So I went over to my 50 foot targets and was able to take them out pretty quickly. So yeah, 50 foot engagement, this thing is amazing. And so I decided to also take it even further and we went outside to the field. And just so everyone knows, the cone was placed at 150 feet. So at 150 feet, I could pr probably almost get tags. I'd say at 100 foot, this is a good tagger. Uh, 50 to 100, this is gonna be fine. And basically I just sent these things down range and one of them actually went 222 feet. 222. And also was pretty accurate. I was aiming at the cone and I was pretty much landing all my darts near the cone. So really cool. So I'm not gonna do a full build guide with this this blaster. What I will do is kind of just show what I went through. And uh, I, to be honest, I watched Tungsten's video and just used his video to kind of, I, I looked at that, looked at the instructions, and I just put it together. If you want to see a more in-depth build guide, link in the description to Tungsten's video. Uh, he really goes into a lot of detail as to what's going on in here and some tips and tricks. So let's kind of run down the ergonomics and functionality and aesthetics of this blaster. So I'll start with aesthetics. Aesthetically speaking, I think it looks all right. It's kind of cool. A little bit weird looking in, in my opinion, but you know, for what it is, I think it, I think it looks fine. I am curious to paint this up because I think we could pull out a lot of these details. I know people love the clear shells, but I do believe if I painted this up, it would look kind of interesting. So let me know in the comments what you think. Should I leave it as clear or should I try a paint job on this? So now let's talk about Ergo. Now the pistol grip, very comfortable. 
it is a little bit small. If you have a large hand, this is probably gonna be a little cramped for you. I have moderate size hand and I can pretty much hold it with no complaints. The pole, I did notice my finger start getting a little sore after a while, but for, for the most part, that's fine. I do prefer a T-pole, which there's, I mean, there could be some aftermarket parts we could do to do a T-pole. Uh, realistically, I would love for this thing to be more of a pump action, which I don't think is, that'd be very interesting to get that to work, but it, it is doable, but it would be very interesting because you'd have rails traveling the whole length of the blaster. And then another thing worth mentioning is the breech system. I was a little bit turned off by the breech system when I first saw it, because you are essentially, you're essentially pulling the barrel out, which causes the magazine to push the next start up, and then you push it forward and now it's, now it's chambered. After using it for a while, I started to get used to it and it actually wasn't really a big deal. But it is worth noting that it does add an extra action you know, that you're not normally accustomed with because you usually prime and usually the priming is usually opening and chambering a dart. In this case, it's not. So then you gotta do, do. that's probably its only real drawback in my opinion for operation. But after using this for a while, you get used to it pretty quickly. And of course, uh, for tactics and whatnot, we have, you know, your standard worker barrel. So all that stuff that worker offers, you can throw on there. This scar is really good. I'm very happy with the scar. I wanna test this on other stuff. It's, uh, I think it's a decent scar. And then on the top, we have some Picatinny type rails. So that's always fun. So you can throw a flashlight or some type of optics up there. So that's, that's cool. It is kind of weird to me that they left this little rival round holding thing in the front. And then on the bottom, they left uh, on the handle where you can put your long darts in. So kind of interesting. You can have two different ammo types that don't even shoot out of your blaster, which is weird. Maybe if you have a buddy that's running with you that needs one last rival round. You're like, wait, I got you, bro. You know, pull out that one rival round or someone has long darts. Here you go. Here's those two long darts I was saving for you. One for you, one for me. So I don't know, kind of weird choice, but better than not using the space for anything, I guess. So in the end, can I recommend this blaster? I say yes, the build quality is phenomenal. There is a lot of aluminum parts in here, including the plunger tube and the barrel, which is really nice. And overall, it's super easy to work on. It's got a few little weird weird uh, design choices, but they can be overlooked due to just the sheer performance of the blaster. And uh, overall, I can get behind this. And you can spin it, so that's a plus. Well, I'm Dr. Flux, and that pretty much wraps up this review of the Worker Cheetah 2.0. Let me know in the comment section, do you think this truly is a platform to be reckoned with? I know when it first released, the Cheetah was just kind of one of those blasters. It's like, okay, cool, thanks, thanks Worker. But now it all makes sense. Now this is something that truly can be compared against, you know, like a Nexus Pro or something, in my opinion. But I'm curious to see what you have to say, so let me know. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please share this video to help grow this channel. And once again, happy foam flinging.